This episode of Film Riot is brought to you by Domain.com. Today on Film Riot, we get ourselves on the no-fly list. Out of time. time is an illusion. Now is forever. What? I mean, I know this party's probably the bomb, but what do you say we blow this popsicle stand? What? Whammo! Oh my god! This thing looks legit. Sir, we found the explosive device. That wasn't part of the problem. Sir, I'm gonna need you to stay calm and still. Even an ill-timed fart could set this baby off. I will now cut the red wire. Wait, no! Don't cut the red wire. Why, it's red. The guy, the guy who strapped me in this chair, before he left, he said you would try to cut the red wire. What? Yes, he giggled and literally said, ha ha, they will totally try to cut the red wire. Blast. Go big. Get blown up by a pipe bomb by cutting the wrong wire. Sir, sit tight. I'll have this thing fused in one minute. What? How much time is left on the timer? 30 seconds, why? We don't have a minute. Good point. I hadn't thought of that. Ah, uh, well, we gave it a shot. And that's all that matters. We tried our best. Whoa, where are you guys going? Leaving. Nobody wants to be around here when that thing goes off. Seriously, it's gonna be horrific. You can't just leave me here! Hey, want some wings tonight? I could kill some chicken wings right now. You guys are messing with me, right? I could actually go for some steak. Hey, it's your duty to help me! You can't tell me wings and then switch it up to steak. Come on! He had a real explosive personality. Nice. Logo. Welcome to Film Ride, the film that takes some mystery out of the effects and techniques going to some of your favorite Hollywood films. I'm your host, Ryan Conley, and today we're getting back into DIY builds, which we haven't done very many of over the course of the show, but it is always fun to do. Today's do it your dang self is thanks to this fine fellow's email right here. Rye bread. Clever. Sup? Not much. I have a scene with a time bomb, but I'm only 13 and can't get dangerous stuff. Can I make it in After Effects? First, you are awesome. Just entirely awesome. But the best way to do something like this is to actually build a physical fake prop. Building something digitally like that and compositing it all and doing all in After Effects, that would be really tough. So, let's build the thing. First things first. Our shopping list, oh goodies, you are going to need one and one half inch PVC pieces, enough to make three one foot pieces, six one and one half inch PVC end caps, two metal worm drive clamps, or any other metal strip that you can wrap around your bundle of pipes when we're finished. Check your garage to see if there's anything that you can use in there, that way you don't have to buy it. And that's free, yo! Next, some electrical wire, either buy some, or if you have an old extension cord lying around, you can pull it out of that. That's free, yo! Double-sided tape, spray paint, whatever color you want, we went with the metal look, and finally, a digital alarm clock, which we got from the thrift store for $3, but if you have an old one that you can use, that you don't use anymore, and you could bust open, do that. And why would we want to do that? The letter Q! No, it because it's free. That's free, yo! So the first thing we're gonna do is cut our PVC pipes down to about one foot each. I'll cut the first one, then use that to measure the others, making sure that they're all about the same length. Then I will grab my PVC end caps, slap those on like so, grab my drill, and I will drill two holes in four of them and one hole in two of them. Good. That's about, and then, you know, okay, and then we're gonna go back. Yeah, yeah, that was good. With that done, it is time to spray paint, which again, I am using a metallic paint for these, and we spray the paint. While that was drying, I started to take apart my alarm clock. <laughs> then after unplugging it, I took apart the rest of my alarm clock. Really, we're just looking to have some kind of cool circuit board area and that digital clock base. Everything else is just extra goodies. I also broke open another busted piece of electronics I had lying around to add a bit more circuit board area to the front. So I just used double-sided tape 
to tape that digital clock face to that extra circuit board. You guys are messing with me, right? Which is something worth bringing up here. I don't throw out very much. Whenever something breaks, I always evaluate whether it might be useful to me to make something out of in the future or not. Then I just save it in a box somewhere. It saved me a ton of money over time. The electronic wires and this extra circuit board are really good examples. You butthole. <laughs> Next, I'm grabbing my now dried and all metallic like PVC. I'll stack them like so, then snake the power cord from the clock through to hide it. Next, I'm gonna use more double-sided tape to secure everything where I want it, like a so. Then tighten down my clamps. Now, I'm pretty sure these clamps can be expensive. I had them lying around, so I'm not sure how much they cost, but anything would work. Even a metal hanger would probably look pretty good here. After it was all tight and secure like, I grabbed my electrical wire and started from the end cap that only had one hole in it. And I'm just gonna push wire inside and that's it. It's secured, nice and snug. Cut a piece long enough to go from there to the second one, then a new color wire from that end cap to the final end cap, then a new color wire again from there to behind the digital face, which I'm just securing by pushing against the double-sided tape that is behind there. And we do the same thing with the other side. I also wrap some wire around the front just to make it look a bit more interesting, but that's it. Now we have this, a cheap bomb prop with working digital face. The best thing about this is how incredibly easy it is to make. It's more simplistic than the lyrics to a country music song. Well, I got a truck and some tight jeans on an old dirt road with a girl who also got tight jeans. And I got a dog and some beer in the back of the truck, yeah. But we didn't use the digital face as is in camera. We did a little tricky trick to get the timer exactly how we wanted, which I will explain after a quick thank you to our what? No. Sponsor. What flavor did you get? Vanilla. What did you get? Reese's Blizzard. You're trying to get yourself seen on the interwebs. If you're trying to make a website to promote yourself or your idea, Ryan, domain. Got an idea for a website. No, I don't want to. Murder.com. Oh my you god. Need to get rid of a guy? Oh my god. Murder.com? No, Murder. shut up. Shut up. That's a great That's a, You need to be quiet. Domain.com is the place to go to get your non destructive and only healthy ideas done and okay. posted I onto have a the bad internet. Idea. Oh I have god. A bad idea. What? No, no, not Ooh. what? Zip it. Robabank.com. You need to rob a bank. It's kind of like Phil Bryant that, for robbing banks. That is so illegal. You're inside. You, got you are inciting illegal things. They have the reliable and affordable hosting service and the domain discovery service to help you pick the right name for you. And plus, we can get you some monies off by using the coupon code FilmRiot at checkout. So when you think domain, one. oh my laundering, god, laundering money. You're not chic. Why? So when you think domain names, think domain.com. I gotta come back to the murder one though, because oh that's a really god. great idea. Logo. What are you doing? I heard something. What? Sounds. Uh huh. Use your words. It's creaking and there it was again. Can we get back to the episode? It's probably a dead girl come to haunt us. You just said the exact plot of your own short film. Think about it. So we have our bomb, now it's time to make the timer to count down to explosion stuffs. Come on! This is a crappy old digital face alarm clock, not much functionality to it, but it was $3, so there's that. If you can get something that actually counts down, good on ya. Leaving, nobody wins with and here's what we actually shot. First, the clean plate of the bomb with it off, then me manually changing the time on the face, getting it to cycle through the numbers. Of course, I am doing this at the angle that matches our shot. And now that I have everything I need, where do we bring all our footage? Editing suite! No, you fing stupid children. After Effects. We bring it to After Effects. I mean, come on! What a douche! 
Inside of After Effects, I'm gonna drop my plate footage on the bottom, then the clip of the changing numbers above that. And since it's counting up instead of down, I'm gonna need to reverse this clip so that it does count down. Then I'm gonna mask around the numbers, place it where I want it to be, add a color correction to it so it matches as much as possible, then slap it into a screen or add mode to get rid of the darker areas and only keep the bright numbers. Then I'm gonna duplicate that layer. Then on the bottom one, add a blur, blur it out so it adds a bit of a fogging effect around the numbers there, add a camera wiggle to the shot as a whole like we did last week, and... Waymo! Oh my god! This thing looks legit! Solid time bomb action happening. For the moving shot, we had to track it, of course, but everything else stayed the exact same. And I went with this method instead of adding it completely digitally in post because I wanted to mix that practical with the digital to really sell that effect fully. To go full VFX, I don't know that it would have matched quite as much. So adding the real with the digital just makes it feel like it really existed in that world. I mean, I know this part of the said the bomb, so what do you Solid. say? And there you have it, a homemade pipe bomb prop for around 25 or 30 bucks and how to slap that timer goodness on there. The explosion sounds that I used from today's episode was actually a mixture of a few sounds, including the 50 cal gun sound from our Hollywood pack. If you need to use some gun sounds for your film, definitely jump over to our store right here and check out those digital assets. We have them available there and a bunch of others as well because they're digital and also assets. And that's all that I have for your face person today. I'll see you next week when I sit down and have coffee with the cop that's been chasing me. I could kill Sababa Jaga. The guy! That guy! Head bump. Really? <laughs> Do the dino. Do the dino. We're doing it? Yeah. And quiet and cutting.